Hello, my name is RD and we are going to solve problem 16 from Hades book. This is from chapter 4. Using nodal analysis as appropriate, determine the current layout I1 in the circuit of figure 4.46. So I1 is the current that passed through this 2 ohm resistor here. And I want to set our most bottom node here as our ground so the voltage here will be zero and i will name this node here as node a and this node here as node b okay now i will assume the direction of the current this is current source so i will just follow the arrow here so it's going up then going to the right and this already given and this i will assume it's going down and this I will assume that it's going to the right. Okay. Now let's do KCL at node A. So KCL at node A. Remember KCL said that the sum of the currents that goes in is equal to the sum of the currents that goes out. And then the currents that goes in is only from this branch here so that is one ampere and that will equal to this current here so i will have va minus vb divided by five and then this current here that will be plus va minus this node here but remember that this node is connected to the ground so the voltage here will be zero so i'll have zero and then that will divide it by two ohm okay now let's multiply both sides by 10. i will get 10 here and this will equal to 2 va minus 2 vb right and then plus 5 a and i think that will result to 2 plus 5 that will be 7 va minus 2 vb that will equal to 10 okay i think nothing that we can do from here so let's save this as equation number one now let's do another kcl let's do kcl at node b And again, KCL said that the sum of the currents that goes in is equal to the currents that goes out. The only, there are two currents that goes in to not be right? This one and this one. Okay. So I will have this one here. That will be VA minus VB over 5. Let's write that. And then this one. This one will be VX. So let's write just VX here. And that will equal to this one here. I will have VB minus this node here. That will be 0 divided by 3. Okay. What can we do here? Maybe just multiply both sides by 15 to get rid of all the denominator. That will be okay, right? So I will have 3 VA minus 3 vb and then plus 15 vx and this one will be 5 vb 5 vb okay what is vx vx is just vb minus 0 right no vx is just 0 minus vb okay let's do that so we'll have 3 va minus 3 vb and then plus 15 vx vx is this one first right so we'll have zero and then minus vb and let's move this also to the left hand side so we'll have minus 5 vb that all equal to zero and now let's do some calculation i will still have 3 va here so now i'll have minus 3 and this one becomes minus 15 so I will have minus 18 and then minus 5. Yeah, I think I will have minus 23 pb, right? And that will equal to 0. 
let's plot this yeah this will be equation number two let's plug this into our matrix over so i will have this one will be seven minus two three minus 23 and then v a n v b v a n v b and then for the factor of the result i will have 10 and 0 okay now what do we need here i only need v a right what is v a okay i only need v a so let's do that let's set up and use the equation menu and get number one let's plug that in seven minus two and then ten and then three and then minus twenty three and then zero okay i will have that number or maybe i just leave it like that so i will have 46 over 31 volt and i will have i1 here is equal to va minus zero divided by the resistance between them so i will have two so i will have this result 46 over 31 divided by two okay let's do that i will have let's do calculate computation mode and I will have 46 divided by 31 over 2. That will be 0 0.742. Okay, 0 0.742. Yeah, and the unit will be ampere. That is not I2, that is I1. Right? So to make it nicer, let's convert this into milliampere. So I will have I1 will be 742. The unit will be milliampere. And this is the final result that we are looking for in this circuit. Thank you for watching. Hopefully I did not make any mistakes in the calculation. And bye-bye.